Welcome everyone to this uh, review video of the Dragon's Heart guitar picks. Uh, the guys at Dragon Heart's guitar picks were kind enough to uh, send me these uh, three picks for me to review, and uh, that's really awesome. So I thought I'd make a quick video about what I think about them, and um, I won't be talking too much in this video because uh, I'm gonna let the uh, playing do most of the talking. But I have two things I would just like to explain. Uh, the first thing is the difference between the three picks they make and um, the second thing is about the price of the picks. So um, let me just see here. Um, we have these uh, three picks all the way to the right. We have the uh, pure Dragon's Heart pick and um, it's supposed to be uh, a little bit warmer and softer in the tone it's supposed to have about 1200 hours of play and it's a 100% polyamide imide something now these uh, specs aren't too important for me the most important thing for me is how they sound and how they feel um, and in the middle we have the original Dragon's Heart guitar pick it's uh, supposed to have a 12% graphite fill and it has a thousand hours of play and then all the way to the left we have the hardened pick which is my favorite it has about 1500 hours of play and it has 30% glass fiber fill now um, to me they don't sound all that much difference there is a slight difference in the tone um, but you're gonna hear that in a moment. Um, the most uh, difference you can make in the tone is by using the different edges of the pick. So you can see the edges facing me right now is the kind of standard pick edge, which is slightly sharp, but the picks are really thick, so it's, it's not super sharp. But we have a really sharp end over there, over to the top uh, right. If you want some really sharp attack and uh, precise playing, and you can also, of course, use the round edge. But I don't ever really do that. It gets too round for me. And uh, the second thing I would like to explain, as I said, is the uh, price tag. Now these picks are about ten bucks a piece, I think. Um, that's a lot of money for a guitar pick. I normally buy these. Um, let me see if I can find one. Dunlop picks, that's what I use mostly and they're dirt cheap if you buy them in bulk but there is a great difference the uh, Dunlop picks are worn out after just a few hours of playing and these picks I've been playing for hours and hours and hours and you can't see a single mark yet so right now I have no problems believing that you can actually play 1500 hours on the hardened pick for example so um, I think the price tag is justified, I don't know if I would use them live, uh, just because I couldn't afford to replace that many of them, but for studio recordings uh, I think they're really good and uh, I have no problem with the uh, price. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to it, I'm gonna make a short video where, where I'm playing um, all three picks, just some easy metal riffing. and. Um, I'm going to be using the standard edge that's facing us right now on the pick. But I will also use on on the hardened pick in the end, I will make a short clip where I'm also using the ultra sharp edge. So you can hear the difference between those two attacks. So yeah, enough talking, let's get to the playing. See ya.
So what is my conclusion on these picks? I think they're really good. I actually think they're worth the, the price. As I said, I'm not sure I want to use them live just because it's gonna be a bit too expensive to lose them on stage because you always lose picks on stage. But I'm definitely going to use these for uh, studio recordings. And uh, as I also said, the uh, hardened one is my favorite. It's mostly just because I feel it's it's got a little bit sharper attack and it's a lot easier to hold on to. Uh, it's not that the other ones are, are slippery, but the hardened one is... Uh, it's, it's a bit easier to hold on to when your hand starts uh, sweating and stuff, but all these picks are really good and um, I would highly recommend that you check them out. Go to the website, I'll put the link in the uh, description and uh, tell him Metal Guitar Stuff sent me. Alright guys, see ya, bye.